You're probably familiar with the concept of gravity. Sir Isaac Newton discovered it from an apple falling from a tree. But what if I told you gravity is not what makes the apple fall down from the tree? In fact, what if I told you that gravity is not even real? But instead, the apple falls down because of the distortion of another dimension. You'd probably say that it's a bunch of science fiction, right? Well, this phenomenon can be explained by Albert Einstein's infamous theory of general relativity. Let's say that you're taking a long walk outside and you come up to a hill. From a distance, you can see that the hill is curved up. However, when you move closer, the hill instead appears to be a flat surface. This is the same thing that we see from even farther distances. For example, when you see this view of the beautiful horizon, it appears flat. But when you go up, say on a plane or even a spaceship, you see that the Earth is curved and not flat. This same concept applies to space where instead of looking 2D and then later appearing 3D from a different perspective, it appears 3D then looks 4D from a different perspective. This fourth dimension is called space-time. When we supposedly move in a straight line on Earth, we are actually moving along a radial line around the Earth. This curved line is called a geodesic. The same thing happens in space where a celestial object, like a planet or a satellite, is traveling in a straight line from its perspective but is actually traveling in a curved line around the larger celestial object, which we call orbits. But there's still one more big question. Why does space-time get curved? Well, let's see an example. Let's say you have a piece of paper representing space-time and you put a ball on it. The ball creates a curvature of the paper because it has mass. And if we put a ball with even more mass on it, then the curvature is greater than with the smaller ball. The same thing can be applied to outer space where the larger the mass of the object, the more curvature it causes in space-time, which is why larger objects always have smaller objects orbiting around them. Evidence of the theory of general relativity can be seen in the universe. In June 2017, NASA and the European Space Agency, using the Hubble telescope and the Very Large Telescope in Chile, took six separate pictures of another galaxy that were billions of light years far away. How? A strong gravitational lensing, where astronomers use a nearby galaxy as a sort of lens for the telescope, where they look at the light coming from the distant galaxy as it curves around the nearby galaxy because of the curvature of space-time, and they see the light that surrounds around the galaxy. And that forms a sort of ring-like shape called an Einstein ring. Measuring the radius of this, you can measure how much curvature there is in space-time. The theory of relativity has helped astronomers understand the expansion of the universe. In the future, we will be able to unlock the mysteries of the universe. And I can't wait.